All right, guys. So I got round one done, um, which was uh, unique. I mean, um, there was a few little uh, minor glitches getting the uh, some of the games to uh, play on this computer or to record the screen. Um, but for the most part, I, I was able to uh, get uh, the games and uh, play them and uh, get a really good grasp of uh, what uh, each game is and uh, you know how this tournament is going to go. So number one, the first thing I, I need to say or to at least admit is that uh, I cannot get the original Spawn game, the Eternal, that I had listed up here. Um, I just couldn't get it. So um, I couldn't really get even uh, a PlayStation emulator to work. Uh, I'll uh, I'll work on that um, um, before this happens again. If it comes up again, thankfully uh, there was another Spawn game. It was two years older, 1995. It was an NES game, so um, I believe it was an NES game. Uh, uh, sorry, Super Nintendo uh, game. So I'll I'll edit that there, but. Uh, it, it came up against uh, Batman Beyond, The uh, Return of the Joker, uh, also um, a Super NES game. Uh, I can't remember now if I played it on uh, the Genesis or the Super Nintendo. Um, thoughts on each game? Um, uh, uh, you know, not great, but good. I mean, uh, I wouldn't have wanted... I, I forget, you know, I'm 45 years old. I forget what these games cost in the day, but I think there were still like... $49, you know, at the time, like, we're talking, like, over 20, 20 years ago, and, uh, I think, um, you know, in, in some cases, in Batman Beyond, I think that came out in, uh, 1995 or 94, e either way, they both came out right around the same time, um, uh, I probably wouldn't have wanted to pay $50 for them at the time, um, I definitely wouldn't pay fifty dollars for them now, as a as a free download. I think it's fun. I think it's great. Um, but uh, either way, it's Spawn versus Batman, and I will tell you right now on this graphic here. So as you can see, the winner is. For this round, the very first round is Batman Beyond, The Return of the Joker. Why is that? Um, I found it, the Batman Beyond was, at the end of the game, I could see myself play, going back to it and playing it again more than Spawn. I'm not saying I'm ever going to go back and play Batman Beyond, but I'm more likely to play it than Spawn. Mainly because Spawn was very frustrating. Uh, I, I dug the graphics. I, I dug the gameplay. But when I came across that first baddie, that first big bad, I mean, I mean, you, if you see the previous video, I mean, I cannot beat the guy. And uh, he, I mean, it got very frustrating. He beat me over and over and over and over again. And I cut it out from the video. But I was like mad. I was pretty pissed off and yelling and screaming and uh, cursing the gods and uh so yeah i don't ever want to play that game again i running around and uh, beating up the bad guys was great but that first like uh, bad guy that i the big bad that i had to beat i just couldn't do it and it was very frustrating not only does batman have the honor of winning batman beyond have the honor of winning the very first uh Match up and invent, advancing into the second round, but I get to play it and talk about the game and why I chose this game. So let's see if I do a better job this time of getting past stage, stage one. Uh, like I said, I, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of Batman Beyond. I don't dislike it. I just never really watched it. I watched a few episodes. I mean, I have yet to really fully watch all the episodes of the original Batman animated series. So, I mean, this is definitely going to need to wait. Um, but why did I pick this game? 
Yeah, I liked it. I mean, I, I, I read some reviews on it online, and it wasn't a very popular game, I guess, when it came out, but, uh, I mean, it's alright. I mean, what I played, it, it's not obnoxiously hard, it's not obnoxiously easy. Um, the graphics are of, of its time, I guess. I mean, they're not great. Oh, I uh, should have waited to use that one. So I guess uh, it's not always the same thing in those boxes, so that's good, I guess. I know a, a robot comes up. The robots are kind of hard to beat up. That one was not quite as hard. I played this earlier this morning, so I think I'm a little bit more uh, awake. My hair is definitely a little bit better. Um, yeah, man. Curse of having really good thick hair, even at this age. 45. So, again, this game, I don't remember it coming out. I never had a Nintendo 64. If I ever did, I probably had a garage sale and eventually sold it. Or eBay or, or whatever. Room. Sorry, I've been in this room already. So the purpose of this, I'm on the past stage one. I remember this. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's not like right game. The graphics are all I'm sure it might have been. Yes, I almost forgot about that. Some health. How do I jump again? Can I get up there? Nice. Yeah, I, I just figured something out. is harder than the orange robot, is that... Um, it looks like a lift, maybe it's not a lift. Yeah, I was never... I was more of a Sega guy in my younger years. Oh, I shouldn't have... And I play mainly sports games. I mean, I just never had the money waste on this sort of stuff. I, I bought comic books, right? And the few games I think I ever remember getting were never really all that good. Is that fair? I thought I had a game inspire me to watch the t uh, the cartoon I think so I'll, I'll watch uh, the cartoon again it's, I've never read a comic book I think in the new 52 I mean I think I tried it and it was like uh, maybe not the new 52 maybe like the 
the rebirth. I think I tried to give it a shot and then I kind of zoned out. Which I intended. Okay, here's the big bad. This is, I think, the end of this level one. Really punch kick, right? Or am I wrong here? Oh. Offensive suit. There you go. I forget, is there a block? So the game is afoot. I think this is the end of uh, stage one. Get away. That's it. This is stage two. I'll continue playing. Just, nah, you know what? No, I won't. Because then it gives me more practice for round two when I'm up against, um, I think, uh, still round one, sorry. So the next matchup is going to be Justice League Task Force, Marvel Nemesis. Uh, I played Task Force when it first came out. I think I had a copy of it for my Sega. I think it's just a fighting game. Again, my memory is really bad. Marvel Nemesis, I have no idea what it is. Uh, I think it's a PSP, Sony PSP game. Um, I hope I can get a copy of it or get it running somehow. Um, I have a lot of games in boxes here. If you guys could see my, my attic, my man cave attic, my man, my, um, what would I call this? my uh i guess my my man cave that's that's good enough uh there's lots of stuff here lots of comic books lots of geek geek stuff this is where we do the podcast speaking of geek and the girl go to uh if you listen to podcasts give us a try if you like comic books movies geek stuff um tv shows even sports um we we talk about things that we are geeking out over um we give reviews, we give our thoughts, uh, news, you know, like, um, for instance, this week, I don't know what came up, oh, the, the, I, I, I don't know, I can't remember what, what came up this week, but, uh, yeah, listen to the podcast, we're, we're doing a show tomorrow, uh, Tammy's gonna come by, this is where we do the podcast, just right down there, and, um, if you listen on uh, iTunes, Geek and the Girl. If you listen, if you have an Android device, uh, Stitcher or uh, Google Play, again, just Google Geek and the Girl. And uh, yeah, we uh, we were 15 episodes in, give or take, and uh, we're just getting our our uh, our, our feet uh, underneath us. And uh, I think we're we're improving. Our next episode that we're doing tomorrow, I think, is our special Knight Rider episode where we each watch the pilot. And, uh, yeah, so tune in if you like Knight Rider. If you just like uh, Geek Talk, come on in, uh, download an episode, and uh, enjoy. Thanks. Bye, guys. <laughs>